Okay, this is part two of the rare break uh, shoes. I got the new shoes, so I'm gonna put it on now. And I, part one, I um, showed how to take off this uh, screw here. You can use a impact screwdriver if you have one. That's more easy also. Okay, first thing you want to take off this spring here. And make sure you take pictures if you uh, you're doing this the first time. Take pictures or videos or whatever. Or you can uh, watch on the other side, see how it's set up. You know, take off. If you're taking off this piece, put it on your right hand side, this side on the left hand side, and you know, everything. Put them in order so you can watch it and pick it up and put it back the same. And watch where the spring goes, the cup holder here, the whole long spring and the cup holder. Use the other side as a reference. You know. Also, you want to check here if it's, if it's leaking, just pull back this boot and see if it's leaking. So first thing I'm going to do here is take off this small spring here. And you can use a pliers or dikes, side cutter or a needle nose press like this. Just lift it up like this. Pull this all back. And also watch watch at the spring how it's situated. You know sometimes one side is longer and the other side is you know different is the way it's you know bent this one is is goes inner as you can see this one the spring the bottom of the spring yes, it goes in and this one goes it's on the side it goes like this next step when you take off the spring this adjuster here that's on the star wheel just take it out like this it's in here just like that and as you can see it got an L on it just put this here with this here like this so you know this these two goes together and next step you wanna you know the turn in this um, star wheel here adjuster you can adjust it so the brakes you know release the pressure from the brake shoes so you're gonna get a little more loose Turn the wheel towards the bottom. It makes it get a little loose. Okay, you want to use a tool like this, or you can just push it in with your hands and turn it, or use a pliers. Just push it back in like this, and you release it. And use the pliers also. Also watch out for um, these pieces flying apart, hitting you, so put on your safety glasses. Okay, next up you want to take off this bottom spring here. Okay, the bottom spring is under real pressure and it's got this uh, curve to it, so it's really hard to get off. But, um, you know, just grip it good and pull it. You know. 
so you can loosen the pad separate the shoes okay once you take off the bottom spring and the two spring and the cup with the needle from both sides and this spring here the one piece that was holding it here and you adjust it all the way in you just get pull it out the whole thing you don't gotta take off this top piece here just pull the whole thing apart like this and then you can um, you know, separate separate it as you can see here and that's the emergency brakes holding it here take off the whole thing like this okay this part here you just gotta take off this emergency brakes cable here and just this piece uh, in here this clip and then put back the same brake pads right as this one and put back this piece here with this e-brakes you just slip it in there there okay so I took off the e-brakes cable from this piece here just like this so now you just gotta take off the C clip these are uh, needle nose pliers and or a screwdriver and just tap it out like this just squeeze this back like this to get it off okay um, this one was very easy to get off as you can see when it's inside just a small piece hole hole so I didn't use a screwdriver or anything I just use this needle nose and I put it like this one piece here in the small piece of hole and one piece at the back of the brake pads the metal and just squeeze it and it came right out some of them is like harder to get out but this one came out easy and you just remove this from here and you get your, get your brake shoes the same one measure it also with this um, piece here This is the one. Compare it, make sure it's the same size, everything. And you just put in, put this back in like this. And get your C clamp, C clip, and put it back in here. Also, you want to clean up these uh, points here. They make contact with the back of the brake shoes, like here and stuff they rub against here so you want to like use a sandpaper or you know clean it with a small wire brush not you know not too much just clean it put some anti seize not too much on all spots like this or grease because they're gonna make a little noisy rub like against like back and forth like up and down like that so you want to clean that up also you want to spray everything down with brakes cleaner when doing a job like this and get a drain pan to catch everything there's a lot of dust and stuff you don't want to inhale that or you know make a mess okay so I put back the e-brakes cable in just gotta pull this piece with the pliers and then slip it in here Clip them back into this piece. Goes like this. And this adjuster and stuff, you just pull this piece. This was like this. You pull this piece out, and you pull this like this. Loosen this spring. Take the spring off. And you want to open this adjuster and clean it also. Put some. Uh, you can clean it and leave it just like that. Some just clean it and leave it just like that some put a little grease or anti-seize on it so it can move freely and then you get your uh, other side brake shoes same size and you just put it in what's in this make sure you put it in the right hole what's in this hole there you put this piece in like this 
this push it here so that like this in here and this piece push it in here okay, this is uh, just I just screwed it out from here you want to screw it out and clean it up put a little not too much uh, just a dab of anti scissors grease and you screw it back in all the way because you, this needs to be all the way in I want to put a dab of grease on this other piece here That's, this piece don't screw in just push in like this okay put back this side here and this tool is very useful you can pick it up at AutoZone for 5 box or so it's very easy you can do it to your, your finger but it's gonna take a while or pliers okay put back this spring here this top spring it just gotta stick in on the back of this pad to break that in this piece here you stick it in there and I put the adjuster in this piece here and I put on the other side brake pads brake, uh, brake shoes the whole long clip and the spring and the cup I'm gonna shred this spring and put it in this hole here and this notch here you gotta put it in here line it up in here okay put the um, adjuster back in and I slip it in this side first and now I'm gonna slip it in on this piece and then pull the spring and put it in here. Okay, put back everything. Adjuster, spring here. Um, adjust in um, clip here with the, the lever with the spring here in the bottom spring. Now it's time to adjust it and put on your drum brakes. Okay, when you put on, you adjust it and you put on your drum um, and you spin it, it must have a, a little drag on it. And when you spin it, it's not supposed to make a full uh, revolution, like half. When you spin it like this, it's supposed to stop right there. If it continues spins, I mean, it needs to adjust more. Okay, you want to adjust it, like move this lever here back like this and adjust it. Like going up the star wheel make sure this lever is engaged also and put back your um, trauma on and put back your tire and also the uh, rear passenger side is the same and when you finish everything put them back your tires and you tighten back your lug nuts and stuff pump the brakes before you start it and take it for a test drive and that's it so you change your rear drum brake shoes on a 2000 Mazda MPV thanks for watching